Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Edinburgh, my home city, and I've got one half of this mega fight, Taylor against Carroll 2, the rematch, Jack Carroll. It's been a long time coming, two years in the making after the first fight, uh, a fight you've been wanting for the best part of two years. How excited are you now that it's finally on? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we announced it back in the last week. We're Monday now at the press conference. Uh, the posters are open. We're about to do the first head head, so it feels real now. It's, uh, it's exciting. When I, when I, I just going off what I feel this is a big fight. I done a podcast, my podcast yesterday, right? Sometimes the numbers on YouTube isn't that great. I done the podcast and me and young Joe Pugh talked about this fight and the numbers are astronomical. And I'm just saying that, going off what I've just done a little bit on this fight, this feels like a mega fight on our end as well. For you, it's just the biggest fight of your career, obviously, with the, the first fight, the animosity, the hatred, the personal attacks that's been going on on Twitter and whatnot. Is this the biggest fight of your career so far? Yeah, definitely. Listen, we've been here before. Uh, the landscape were different last time. He had all four belts. Uh, it was in Glasgow in his back garden, and that was a massive fight for me, my first fight uh, for a world title. I know this is not for a world title, but still a huge fight. Uh, we're heading to Leeds, so I think the landscape's going to be a lot different this time. But again, yeah, massive fight. The fight's at 140. Now, I'm surprised. I've had conversations with Josh. He said he probably, after the Teofimo Lopez fight, he probably wouldn't go back down to 140. Now, I heard from Sam Jones that he demanded 140. Are you surprised the fight's there? Uh, yes and no. Uh, there's a few different ways you can look at it. Is it an excuse, a preempted excuse? Uh, listen, who knows? It don't matter. Uh, I fight at 140. Uh, I said from the get go, let's do it at a catchway. Uh, if that's what it's going to take to get the fight on, they've requested 140. That works for me. The fight is in Leeds, like you mentioned. Uh, neutral venue. Um, I'm quite surprised. I think people were expecting London, maybe the O2, something of that magnitude. Are you surprised that it's in Leeds? I'm not surprised. I'm happy the fight's over the line. Uh, as it's been driving Sam up the wall, but it's been it's been, it's been a difficult negotiation. So I think uh, Leeds works for us. It's it's not too far away uh, for everybody. Perfect venue. It's called the hate runs deep. How much do you hate this man? You know what? Hate's a strong word. Uh, I don't I don't care enough about Josh to hate him. So you can remove remove that. That wasn't my quote. Hate runs deep. Of course it does. Uh, do I like him? No. Do I respect him? No. Uh, do I hate him? No. I don't care about him that much. Jack, I'll put this question to, to, to Sam Jones now. We've seen guys that have a pure animosity towards each other, fighters. We've seen Eric Morales and Antonio Barrera. They absolutely despised each other. They threw punches at each other the way and whatnot. They hate each other so much. 20 years down the line, they became friends and stuff like that. Can you envision this? I know the fight's fresh and stuff like that, but we've seen Frotch and Groves. Can we ever see a, a point where you shake hands and sort of like squash all this hatred and beef? Right now, no. Uh, I can't tell you what the future holds for Josh and me, but uh, there's been a lot of back and forth over the last two years. Uh, and you know what? That needle's there, and it's good. It's given me that fire. I'm excited to fight him. I want to beat him. Uh, I've been asked the question, am I going to shake his hand? Of course not. We're going to fight each other. And it's not like uh, the Linares fight where you're fighting a, a legend and he's come over and it's respectful. This is different. So uh, will me and Josh be friends? Right now, no. Jack, I've got to ask as well, obviously... Dan's partners, boxing these Dan partners, Eddie Hearn, he mentioned to me that he needs the storyline out with the product in the ring. Do you know what I mean? The fight's there. The fight's always good, but we need that storyline with the, you and Josh. We've got that storyline and it's something that the, the fans can get engrossed in as well, can't they? Yeah, I think I said it on my caption the other day. I'm getting asked every day. I've had two fights since the Taylor fight. I had a lot of support and a lot of uh, congratulations, but I'm still getting asked, is this fight happening? Are we going to get the rematch? Uh, and it's, it's a bit of a relief to have the date now, the venue, and I can finally put it to bed. Uh, and listen, it's not just my side, uh, the whole team, Jamie, Nigel, I guess Sam's getting it, I guess Josh and his team's getting it, so uh, I feel like it needs to be done. What's going to happen in this press conference, Jack? Uh, I've known you for long enough, you don't say much, um, you're quite a calm guy when it comes to these sort of press conferences and weigh-ins and, and whatnot. What are we expecting here? Are we going to see a heated up sort of Jack Carroll this, today? Uh, I guess it depends if what he's got to say. I've got a few things to say today. Uh, we'll see what he's got to say. And yeah, I'm letting him know I'm here and it's on. And uh, there'll be no more Josh Taylor after today. You think you're going to retire him after, on April 27th? 100%. I think this uh, this is Josh's last fight. And by that, on April 27th, you said that you're going to knock him out. Is that the case? Is that the sort of like the, not the game plan, but is that the hope and want in this fight is to stop Josh Taylor? Yeah, I think that's what I'm capable of. I think... Uh, I think I'm coming there, I'm coming to do damage, I'm going to come to knock him out. If I don't knock him out, I'm going to beat him every round, beat him round the ring, and he's going to retire after this fight. Jack, as always, pleasure to see you, my man, and welcome to Edinburgh, man. See you soon. Thanks, Jack. Wall Street Memes Casino. 
I'm fine. And sportsbook. 